We have an audience for the first time here. We do. It has been uh, quite a while. Usually no one wants to even think about coming in here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, especially this late in the evening because it gets warm. And, uh, and all we had to do was un- involuntarily drag them in and tie them to the chairs. <laughs> yeah. And, and now we have an audience. And now we have an we audience, always, too. We've always looked for. <laughs> That's what we've always wanted. Yes. What we've also always wanted is a wonderful beer in a can. We've always we have been on the lookout for that. We've looking for that since that we started true. the website. We found several. We have. We had one a uh, few weeks back. We did. Yeah, you liked that one because it was also, you'd had, you hadn't had that one on draft, but you'd had something else. The Blazing Amber. The Blazing Amber. Yes. So that's what we've got. We've got Modern Times Brewery on this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith, and we are about beverages.com. And the beverage we are about today is, once again, from Modern Times, and it is their Black House Stout. Same as before. Four pack, okay, nine ninety nine, uh, 5.8% alcohol, and from what you said from the menu I showed you, this is the one I had on draft, but yeah, nitro but they, style. but they did nitro. This is unfortunately okay. not nitro. Okay. But uh, I have had some of these, full disclosure. Okay. Uh, this and obviously I've had it, but I had it at Neighborhood when we were there uh, a little while back in San Diego uh, for some reason... Well, like we were saying, even it was it was seasonal drinking for San Diego, but because <laughs> uh, it was probably seventy two yeah. degrees, and uh, yeah, it was the Black House, uh, but it was nitro, so it was extra smooth at that time. So we're going to compare it now. So to this is going to be harsh, harsh, and overbearing, horrible, <laughs> awful. <laughs> no, the thing I like about this though is it is brewed, brewed with coffee, and they actually give you the breakdown of the uh, the blend that they use. Yeah, and it's something so. we've talked about for a long time now. Even when we did the uh, coffee black IPA with Eric. Green, when he worked with us doing that, we talked about using Ethiopians and other different coffee. Would you get the nuance in a in a beer? And uh, what did and you end up using? We wound up using Sumatra in that one. Is and, it was, and they use Sumatra. Here. They do use an so. Indonesian, yeah. And Actually, that would they be use not Sumatra specifically. Okay. And Sumatra would be good because it is earthier and would hold up to a darker roast and so yeah. it would give you some more flavor so that's good but i'm surprised that they also used ethiopian as well which is going to be lighter fruitier uh kind of more nuanced to Did some extent especially in a stout was it 100 percent sumatra used or was it i thought there was some you know we debated we debated between a few things i can't remember actually 100 percent. Okay. but i'm pretty sure we went with the sumatra because i remember i brewed a couple things and then eric and i were tasting that day and we picked one okay go in the archives You'll find it. Yes. Whatever that was. We'll go into the archives so no. we can find it. No. no? Well, maybe yeah. I will. Yeah, we'll have It's to. probably right there. <laughs> That's what it, we use. It's always there. Yeah. Or there. Or No, it's where? right there. Oh, it's there. Okay. It's right there. Not there. Not there. What's there? Right there is probably a picture of their logo. Oh, that's there. Yeah, okay. that's there. All right. Right here, mm-hmm. subtitles. Nice. Okay. Sometimes there is a picture of Eric Gasson. Sometimes. Okay. But he wasn't involved in this at all. No. So it'll be a picture of Eric Green. <laughs> oh, Eric Green. <laughs> <laughs> One of the many Eric's we have, uh, which reminds me of the uh, kids in the hall bit. Kids, the there's a kids in the hall the bit. Golf the golf one? No, there's one. No, that's oh. the classic. <laughs> no, the ones where they're talking about these are the Daves I know. Like he knows all these Daves. When we all all the Eric's we know, I was saying these are the Eric's I know. I, I, I know. I think there's only one kids in the hall bit that I've ever seen. It's just the golf, and I think it's the golf one. <laughs> <laughs> well, then the one you always used to talk about. How's it going about. on out there? <laughs> <laughs> the one you always used to talk Good. about. Do you, do you play? No, hate the game. No, hate the game. Hate, hate the people that play it even, even more. <laughs> <laughs> well, then there was the one you used to say, he's upstairs. Oh, so. yeah. Well, that's from the movie. Oh, that's the movie. We're not okay. repeating that. But it's still Kids in the Hall. It is. Okay. All right. Well, that's also the... But on the outside, I said I consider it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there's not much uh, really debate on the color of that one. Yep. It's, straw it's clear yeah oh no yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that's a nice that's that's, that's black. black and yeah. they're actually nice too I, yeah. I love the amount of information that they give on their cans uh that sounded dirty i didn't actually want to go for that <laughs> i'm always looking for information on cans that's right that's, that's what i tell my wife all the time i'm just Would feeling you, the information will be here somewhere on your cans on your cans <laughs> uh no they actually give you srm they give you ibus gravity what is srm uh that's uh color Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So oh, like wow. this one's okay. This one's a ninety. Ninety. Probably can't get. To, it's none more black. <laughs> okay. Wow. It's, <laughs> it's like Spinal Tap. <laughs> turn it up to eleven. You turn it up to no. None more. They make the black album because oh, they can't be right. smell the gloves. So that's, that's right. It's none more black. I was. I it was. So, that was so nice. That was on Netflix. I watched that. Oh. And I because I hadn't seen it all the way through. I'd seen like half of it, and uh, years ago, and I couldn't watch the rest of it. I don't know why. But now I've watched it and it's it's great. It's a fantastic. And now I've realized too. And Fran Drescher's in it, which is strange. Uh, yes. Well, and there there are a few other people that pop up and you're like, oh my god, that's that person. Oh my god, that's that person. But yeah, no, it's very funny. I also realized I need to try to sit through all of Blues Brothers as well. 
I can see that's not your type of movie. Yeah, but I should I should have just I mean for some reason I feel like I lose my guy card if I don't watch the. Blue I don't know if you have to feel that way about it. Okay, it's just All a right, certain good. type well, of. I mean, I it's, a, it's a good movie, but it's you have to enjoy that music and everything that's there because it's not just a straight comedy. It's almost it's not it's almost a musical of sorts well yeah there's a lot of music and everything you know so you kind of have to enjoy all that too but there's so many classic lines you just have to at least know that it's orange whip orange whip three orange whips not a lot of carbonation a lot of coffee oh yeah well i am glad there's not a lot of carbonation after the last beer oh yeah we we, (laughs) the last last week's beer we had carbonation to last us for the whole month i was hoping there'd be negative carbonation (laughs) in here (laughs) there was a lot Roasted coffee is what I get. Yeah, that I don't one. know if I can tell that there's two different types in there, right? At or least what at those types? Yeah, yeah, but good fresh coffee yeah. aroma. Like, yeah, and we've, we've had we've had beers with bad coffee. Yes, we aroma. have. That's the one knock against that Lagunitas beer. They've had so many good things. I, Darn I, that cappuccino have, stout. I don't think we've ever had a. That's the only Lagunitas beer we haven't liked. Yeah, would I'd that be correct? Pretty to much, say? almost love everything else they've done. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. it happens. Yeah. Okay, except for their bottles, which you can't reuse. I know I can't reuse their bottles. Lagunitas, get on that. As a home brewer, please. Well, we definitely picked the right beer to end the evening with. Mm-mm. I hated for that to leave my mouth. Not that everybody knows we're ending our evening because they're watching this separately. <laughs> but that's true. <laughs> that's all right, though. This is what we're finishing with. That's right. But uh, no, that's not the uh, obviously the nitro that I had on draft. Uh, creamier, yeah, creamier, yeah, a little smoother than that, um, and. Probably a little e- easier drinking, and not that this is difficult to drink, but th- I'm having no, trouble. no, I'm having trouble. Drinking. I'm having trouble. Yeah, <laughs> that's when I developed my drinking problem. Um, so yeah, the other is, it was a little smoother, a little creamier, and actually was perfect for that particular situation. For this here, this is nice because this is because you are getting those nice coffee aromas and yeah, I really like that they did the that the coffee is so forward. Yeah. Then they go into the like the roastiness after that, then into a little bit of light chocolate. It's fairly smooth. You know, under 6% alcohol, that's kind of nice, too. It's just a really good, easy-drinking stout. Good year-round stout. And this is one of their year-round releases, which is just really, really nice. Yeah. I would. The only thing I would maybe ask for, and this is a minor. You're so picky. Minor. Just a little more body. I think that's something you always talk about. <laughs> uh, You're always like, every beer we've ever, like, even our no. favorite to the favor is always like, if it just had a little more. Touch. You say a you touch agreed. more body. Are we, you're talking about vol- the fade to black, of course. Volume one. Yeah, we both said that. Yeah, I know. I agree. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so don't pin that all on me. <laughs> you can pin this one on me, but not the other one because we both agree. I, I like the. I mean, you never know how far that's going to go. I, I like. Yeah. I like the way it is now, just because I think of it as. You know, just a lighter, refreshing, lighter. It's not really lighter. It's just no. a good, refreshing, easy drinking stout. Yeah, and I really like that. Like I said, because start maybe, getting too much heavier, that could be like oatmealish. It could be sweet. It could, you know. And maybe I'm thinking about how it was on draft, and maybe I'm thinking of just a little of that quality, that that little bit of that creaminess in there would be would be nice, but still very good. Mm. Yeah. Once again, overall, not going to complain about that. No, I really like I said. Yeah, the only downfall to modern times is that they're not here yet, but hopefully soon. From what uh, he was kind enough to tweet me back that we are on the short list. There's, yeah, as opposed to like Russian River when we've asked and they're like, no. I, yeah, I've never actually heard sarcasm and laughter in an email, but that was about <laughs> what I got, what we got from Russian River. I remember Eric too. Eric, he was yeah. very upset about that. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, we still keep buying their stuff because. <laughs> yeah, part of our yeah, uh, vacation plans encompass searching for Russian River, but that's because their beer is amazing and they know what they're doing, so. Maybe someday there'll be a documentary about that. As opposed to a chess player, they'll be searching for Russian River. <laughs> we could we could make one. <laughs> could make one. Someday we will. <laughs> and if we do make that documentary, you'll find it at aboutbeverages.com, where you can find the uh, tasting notes things. for this beer, yep. as well as where it hits on our recommendation scale. And uh, while you're there, definitely check out uh, all the other things we've been talking about. Uh, send us a comment, uh, an email. Find us on Twitter. We're there talking all the time about the beers we're having. I don't know. Wine? Have you had any wine lately, Keith? Do you drink wine anymore? You know, oh, not too so. much. No. <laughs> oh, hey, hold on. Hey, you oh. asked me a question. Let oh, me sorry. Answer. No. Um, actually, Mom brought over a bottle of um, uh, Alamos Malbec for uh, the birthday oh. party. And for some reason, one night, I did decide I was in the mood for a, a glass of wine, and I opened that up. And... Uh, it was really good. It was nice to have that. I, like I said, I, I obviously, definitely, obviously, definitely, truly, madly, deeply. I, 
I'm certainly more focused on beer lately, um, but it is always nice to have a, a glass of wine every once in a while. But there's so many amazing, wonderful flavors in the in the world of beer. I just find myself sort of gravitating. Your gravitational toward those. pull is toward that. It is toward that. But uh, you know, and and with those, especially with those numbers you were showing us earlier, we may have to think about trying some different things again. And yeah, we may have to get yeah. back into the spirit world. The spirit world. I don't mean <laughs> that name sort of way. I mean that in more of a beverage sort and of in way. And uh, in the in the into the water world, <laughs> yeah, and not in a Kevin water. Costner way. Yeah. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> uh, but whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot.